That's green. And then you want to make sure you immediately reinforce the child and put it back. Very good. Ready? So now we're going to go into a gestural prompt. Show me green. That's not green. This is green. Show me green. That's green. And she's immediately reinforced for having the right answer. Now we're gonna go into partial physical. I'm going to partially physically prompt the child when she gets the wrong answer. All right, Kelly, show me green. This is green. Good, go back. Show me green. This is green, very good. And then she's reinforced again. And then the last one we're gonna do um, before we do errorless is full physical. All right, Kelly, show me green. I put her, I pick up her entire hand, this is why it's full physical, and put it onto green. This is green. Kelly, show me green. That is green. <laughs> so then the last one we're gonna do is errorless. I'm gonna catch the kiddo before they get the wrong answer. All right, Kelly, show me green. This is green. And then they're immediately reinforced. The only way a child can get a wrong answer when you're doing errorless is if they completely resist. And we'll show you what that looks like. Show me green. Resist. Better. See how she's resisting? So that would be a no response or a wrong answer for errorless. All right, Kelly, one last time. And here's our distractor. Show me pink. Yeah, tricky. This is pink. Very good. So you wanna make sure that you throw in some distractors there because they will get used to the to doing the same thing over and over. So whenever you throw in that distractor, you know that they're still thinking. It's not that monotonous, I'm doing the same thing every time. Um, so doing discrete trials, you're gonna maximize your success and you're gonna minimize their failures. Um, the kids are motivated to learn because, oh my gosh, she got a skill for every correct answer she got. What kid wouldn't like that? I hope this was informative, bye.